Hello, everybody, and welcome to Camden County College Cougar Esports. My name is Sean DeWire, and with me is Shane Costello, another esports production student. So, Shane, welcome to the stream. Um, we have Nate's Star League varsity action in Valorant coming up for you. It's going to be week six. It's a tale of two teams with really impressive records, actually, Shane. So, we have the Camden County College Cougars coming in at four and one, North Central. The Rams also at four and one. What do you think? What can we expect tonight? Uh, I think it's going to be a back and forth, probably a good match. Um, I talked to a few of the guys the other day. They seem confident. Being in the room with them earlier, they seemed very relaxed and ready to go. So I'm excited to see how they do. All right, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, listen, this is. I just want to set the scene for everybody. Of course, this is a, a t teams that are very much in in the playoff hunt, and there's only two games to go. You know, it would kind of be unfathomable for one of them to miss it, but totally possible if one of them should stumble this week and next. Four and three, not a guarantee to make the playoffs. So, you know, I know that you're a gamer, you're a competitor. You know, is it, could the pressure get to these, these players? I think as long as they stay in the moment and don't look too far into the future for next week, then they should be able to pull through this week. Listen, that, I mean, that's the right way to look at it as far as I'm concerned. So that's fantastic. Um, everybody, we will have the game uh, for you. Uh, I, I actually, I, I'm being told that the, the, the teams are ready to go. So we will put t pause for, for a brief moment, just very, very brief. And then we will have Valorant action for you here in just a, a few moments. So we'll see everybody. Um, and next time we see you, it'll be some Valorant. So see you in a few. So it looks like the attacking team is all locked in. We have a duelist, we got some smokes, we got some healing, we got some intel. It looks like we have a good comp over there. Uh, it looks like North Central is still seeing what we're going to go with. Two people locked in, still waiting on the other three. A viper for smokes, a KJ for intel, and just locking down the site, making sure everything's all right. She's got her little turret that can give information, some shooting and peeking without fully putting her body out there and two more just locked in so we have a raise and a sky sky is a healer and raise is another uh she's got some nades and a little robot that can select uh, your follow. agent and it looks like our last one's going to be a harbor All right, nice job, nice analysis there, Shane. Um, I, yeah, interesting here on Haven, of course. Again, it will be, um, looks like, well, it's possible that the uh, the overlay, oh wait, hold on a second. We have to fix an overlay, so I'm gonna continue to give it to Shane temporarily. So we just got the first round of pistol round. Not too much being bought this round. Um, it looks like we have a, uh, the attackers are going to lean towards maybe an A push through short. And looks like our defenders have two set up on C and the other three on A rather than opting to have anyone on B. Satchel out. 
so it looks like a pretty satchel. We'll see. Oh, double satchel. Raise the fight. Raise goes down. And it looks like a fast rotate through the defense. We have a KJ on the attackers lurking to make sure no one's flanking through them. Some util being thrown down. We got Viper's wall going up. And it looks like a rotate out of A. And looks like our defense already has somebody in garage, so they'll be able to call out the rotate. We have one watching G to see how that goes. And looks like some engagement maybe in garage. Mr. Bot goes down, flashing on site, and they take the C pretty easily. So they're going to have C here, to your point, Shane, and the rotations, it looks like they're going to play pretty quick, are the Rams. And two fall down for each team. Oh, looks like a tap. They're going to hold it. And it looks like they took it. Get that defuse uh, Most proving that he had uh, that some uh, ice water in his veins. Of course, that Viper, that Viper smoke is not something that we have seen a lot of. I mean, Viper, I don't want to say has fallen out of vogue, but it's not something we've seen the Cougars play a whole lot, and we've not seen their op opponents play it a whole lot either. Um, so maybe something that they weren't really accustomed to there, because that's exactly what opened up that opportunity there for the defuse. And looks like it might be a split push throwing throw some four through grass and one's watching big window for B. And a jump peek for Cubby. It does take some damage. Standing ahead is able to take out one. Teaming quickly with a refrag. Viper wolf goes up and dogging into sight. Looks like he's trying to get down and Demon takes down the trigger. And the spike goes down. They are able to get Demon a gun rather than a pistol, so we'll see how that is able to work out for them. Yeah, they do have allegiance here for the Rams lurking. They surely will expect it, but have a lot of angles. Enemy down. And Flame takes a good one on the on the sky for the other team. Ooh, it looks like they got two. One guys. enemy remaining. And they're in a 2v1. Let's see if he's able one to enemy out. Remaining. down one. They're going to stick the plan. It looks like. Oh, no, he gets off. Is he able to get you? Oh, my goodness. A little recognition is nice. Flame with the clutch. Thanks. 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 And that, by the way, Shane, was on, um, you know, on an eco round for the Cougars. So huge, huge play. Flame with three really nice headshots. That last one was a flick as well. So uh, an impact player for sure for Camden County in the early right goings. Here. And that's gonna send um, the Rams into an early eco for, the, for themselves. Whenever you win that first round, lose the second, uh, you're likely to have to go into the save. And it looks like they're opting for another possible A push. Cubby stuck in the corner. And they're using a bunch of util to get him out there. He takes some damage, but he's able to Looks like they all pushed them along. This guy's pushing through short to see if they can get an easy pick. And she's watching for the refrag. Quid goes down. And it looks like they're trying to find any other defenders left on this. Spike plan. Now Moss has a cheeky position here. Might catch somebody off guard. Almost finds Vortex. Does get one. One enemy uh, remaining. And it looks like North Central is stuck in a 1v4. We'll see if he just saves or if he's able to take out a couple of people on his way. Yeah, I think at this point, Allegiance is definitely playing for some exit frags. 1v4, only the classic in hand, but if he can take oh. any of the Vandals away, he'd be happy about it. But I don't oh. think he, I mean, listen, at that point, you're just guessing. Right, you're just seeing if you can find somebody that you can right-click with a classic. It doesn't happen. All right, and that definitely must feel good for Camden County to win that one as well. Get an easy up 2-1. And it looks like they're just going to opt to go the same way. It's been working, so why not? 
Now NCU, the Rams here, will buy into this round completely. The Viper Ultimate Moss with a really good couple first rounds, so almost almost available. Not yet. I'll, only looking for an old orb to have it though. And it looks like Demon's just sending it through. He avoids the the sky flash and maybe get himself with the dart. The dog on the site getting them thrown out. Looks like they're gonna get some frags thrown at them to stop the push from happening so quickly. Yeah. Else ready. Actually, they still got some people rotating over it. Looks like they aren't moving as fast as they once were. And we're in a stand still at this point, trying to get some picks before actually going fully in. And Vortex, by the way, with ultimate available. That's something that just uh, with this ult orb became available. So we'll see. It looks like they might consider. Yeah, they might consider using it, but they're running into a buzzsaw. Are the Cougars? He does get the stim down, so that will help him and anyone near him. And looks like Thirty Boss seconds is left. In. And a possible rotate. Vortex gets flashed. He's backing up. Going for another peek, it looks like. And they're just trying to wait it out at this point, trying to see if they can get any easy picks. Ten seconds left. Yeah, and the Cougars are showing us that it's probably going to be a save round for them. I mean, and by probably, Last I mean definitely. Seconds. But Vortex Strike goes down, down and that is huge here. Bus likely going to come away with his Vandal. Okay, so 2-2. Two, two. Uh, clearly, these are two very, very good teams. We talked about it at the beginning. Both teams coming in 4-1. And, one. and uh, thus far, their, their records are the same and their round totals also the same. So, uh, proving that this could... I mean, listen, we wanted to go to... Th oh, listen, Shane, as a fan, I wanted to go to straight sets. But as a spectator, I'd always love to see a third map as well. So maybe we'll see it tonight. And it does look like Rams decided to put some presence on B, maybe to get some quick rotates back to A based off of the pushes from the Cougars. Flame is slowly walking up grass through mid. He's checking his angles, making sure he's got everything covered. Revealing area. And he darts in the sight, showing that the raise is in fact here. Cubby yeah, backs up. Yeah, Cubby does get does get spotted out there. And it looks like they decided to slow down their push compared to the previous rounds, seeing if they can get nice picks before having to fully commit to a site. Yeah, the Cougars at this point are just looking for some sort of pick, but the Rams thus far have proven to be, uh, you know, have, have proven to have disciplined defense. It's been pretty standard. I mean, they're now moving Cubby off of B just now. Not ready um, yet. Expecting, I guess, that there's going to be something on one of these side side lanes, one of these side sites. Thirty seconds left. And it looks like the Cougars are now fully rotating over to A to get that plant down as fast as possible. Toxic looks like we may have down. one nearby, and all the others are going to have to rotate pretty fast. Toxic and we do get a flash on site. They're getting the plant down. Ooh, and Moss gets seen. <laughs> With boss getting a quick refrag on the boss. You know, setting up some util in the CT, and flame is coming from short. They flash out. One does drop heaven, and quickly taken out by boss. Oh, and Griff with a quick refrag. Last player standing. And it's in 2v1, and Vortex is able to get one to get the other, and he's not able to. So very close. But I think he has the lineup. I think that's going to be the route. It will be. Griff going to have to run for the hills. And he's going to drop his gun. So Vortex playing off site there, not able to aid his team with his weapon in hand, but definitely had the, the, um, the, the, uh, the lineup with the incendiary round, with the, the, the napalm. So... Uh, awesome route for the Cougars, but it was close. 
Yeah, it was very close. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get it. They they were able to get him off the bomb just in time for uh, for them to clutch up the round. And it looks like this Let's time go. they're gonna go for a C push with the Rams three stacking on A Here. rather than C this time. KJ is quickly out through the garage. Boss takes out Griff on C so they can easily push up long. I've got your trail. Demon gets on site. Sky bus ults to get intel on where the rams are coming from. They quickly check their corners and they're getting the plant down. It looks like they're playing the default. They now own the site and the, uh, the rams are going to play the retake. I like this positioning from Yuno here, trying to catch somebody rotating from B. If he doesn't see anybody, their teammate, the team is going to know most of it's going to be coming from spawn. So Demon will have to be huge here. No target left. And it looks like Juno's able to take off the team. They're quickly getting a retake on site. And it looks like Vortex got his lineups again. We'll see if one 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 one. And he takes both of them down. Hope you find peace. What a round by Vortex. Ready, right here. Absolute insane round there. Clutching up. So what's, uh, to take a look at the money situation, uh, last round I was going to comment that the money's actually been rather close, um, and it has been. This is the first time where I think the Rams are going to have to think about a budget buy, and it's going to really be a decision. Is it going to be a force buy, or are they going to try and dial it back and do a full save? But it looks like it's going to be mixed, just trying to get all of their money lined up. For a C push, they're quickly moving up. Harvard's able to get a wall down, but Demon's able to just push through with his dash. There are some KJ needs to get, get him into it, though. And they're still getting the plant down again in default. One thing to note is that um, uh, the Rams have a couple of ults to play with. They've got Moss ult. They also have Allegiance's ult. This would be interesting. Uh, this would be an interesting round to commit them, but if they do get a pick. It might be the time to go. Grenade. And it looks like Cougars also has some ults, so Vortex might be able to no sit back and get on. And there goes one ult. Here. There he goes again. He's delaying. Prepare for help. And then there goes Demon gets a nice shot on Cubby. Flame getting Twid down. They were able to get him off the bomb. This is going to be tight. One enemy remaining. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! They win that round, Shane, but at what cost? I mean, I understand what the concept was there from the Cougars, but um, they are they lost a lot. A lot of ultimates committed, and a lot of guns lost as well. Um, so again, around one, but it got a little bit dicey there. And again, that was, and I guess there's no way for them to know that, but there was a budget round. So did they have to do it that way? We'll see if it ends up costing them here. Yeah. And I think if the, so they didn't have the harbor orb there, I think they would have been able to get it done a little cleaner, but that's just how it goes sometimes. And it looks like they're gonna split push. You know, watching A, Sky going towards C, with the rest of them going through garage. They're still keeping it slow. And we're going to drone out the rocks to see if we can get any intel. You know, here's something behind it. Oh. Peaks two of them. And he will go down, and, and the Rams are playing aggressive now. Headshot. Vortex able to get one, and let's hope that the intel came back, that there's all the others there. And Flame is holding down B, it looks like. We'll see if anyone puts it down with it. Oh, and he's gets taken down by Allegiance, who's quickly taken down by Vortex. Yeah, quick refrag there. We'll turn it into a 2v2. The Seeker's being committed. Vortex going to be found out here. He's going to need some help. Bus goes down. And how is he still alive, Shane? Oh, and it looks like he's getting pushed. They don't know he's there. And he's able to get them both. What a round by That's Vortex. Wow, what a misplay. How did that happen from the Rams? Water. Reload your mags and let's get back out there. Wow. I think what happened there is that uh, what we saw would have been Twid, um, unfortunately, flashing a teammate there. 
And then just a lot of confusion. So as they go to a timeout, we will come back here to the caster's desk to talk a little bit about it. Let them have their have their discussion. Um, what are we seeing thus far as far as you're concerned? I mean, so again, the Cougars now with this this, this lead, I believe it's 6-2 at the moment. Um, they're looking so good so far on this attacking half. They're looking good. They're taking their time. They're committing to everyone's a sight that they need to take. Um, the defense is pushing into exactly what they need them to do. And it, Vortex is really just playing out of his mind, it seems like. This has been Vortex's game thus far. I mean, you can easily count three rounds. Um, I mean, listen, it's a team game all the time, but he has been an impact performer thus far. So hopefully that will continue. Uh, we saw the team rallying behind him as we took a look at it, uh, the uh, the in-game, excuse me, the, the in-arena camera. So very, very cool. Uh, it's timeout being committed early, so that could suggest that, um, you know, NCU, um, you know, is, is a little bit on their back foot. So right, as we can hear the countdown com coming out here, teams are getting ready to get back into it. Two to six is the current score. We have, uh, by my count, four more rounds in this half. Of course, if you're NCU, you're looking to, to try and eke out a six to six if you could. Anything now is gravy for Camden County. And it looks like they still the Rams are still keeping one on C and one on B. The Cougars are easily just pushing up, just like they have been doing the last four rounds or so. And now they're going to give up this. Now this retake is going to be a little bit different than what we had seen in the past. They have uh, they have a um, an ultimate ready to go by the KJ. So will that come into play? I, you, and I think maybe on a pick that that would be the case. He's able to take out one on the flank and can they get the other? They are. Variable removed. The stuff too old, so they still have to get the retake and the hard will go down. Demon able to get one down before he's able to take him out. One enemy remaining. Boss was a nice angle there. He's able to jump and he's able to get the job done. The Cougars with that round there, and that was a budget buy, if not a full save, on the part of the Rams. So um, this is the round. I mean, this is where they, you know, drawing the proverbial line in the sand. The Cougars now with five rounds in a row. It's these kinds of uh, streaks that can really lose you momentum in the game and in the series as well. We saw that two weeks ago with these very Cougars when they had their first loss. So the Rams. Going to have to get to work here. And it looks like they're going back to see again. You know, sticking in window to get any intel on the line possible. Flames able to get an info card. He's able to get Griff out. And Demon's able to just push that all onto him. And he takes him out. KJ lurking mid. She's able to get one. Yuno is able to get two on the flank. Demon looking to make sure they're able to get the plant down safely. Yuno taken out by Moss over on B. No charges left. Gives some intel to the rest of the team. Now, I like this from Camden County. They're going to back up, so the um, I don't think the KJ ultimate will actually be all that useful now. So do they have the timing? Do they have the lineups? Moss trying to stick it. It's going to get very, very close. He does have it. So Vortex may be a little late that time with the molly. Not sure, maybe it's a miscommunication, but nonetheless, the Rams take that round, break their loss of, of uh, loss of rounds, and will stop at five. Stopping the bleeding, two more rounds in this half. And it looks like with that loss, the Cougars are gonna switch up their game plan, possibly going back to A. Flaming. Flame's gonna go see, see if he's gonna get some intel and everyone's gonna follow him. So it looks like we're gonna go right back to C. We've seen a lot of action on the C site here. The Rams not really feeling a contest. Really, it's been the retake, retake, retake. And now Allegiance, as we can see, uh, holding on to this KJ ultimate. And uh, you know, with a, a full money buy, that will be a, a more of a guaranteed play on that retake. And it looks like the Rams rotated a little faster than before coming from different angles. We got all that KJ uh, until behind them to let them know about the flanks so they're able to just hold off on C long. Now critically, Vortex does have ultimate available and that's a huge play too because it, I mean, the Rams were creeping up 
behind Camden County. Giving everyone the intel on where they're coming from. The sky. You should and run. Vortex comes out to stop the defense from getting on site. Wow, and the defender Killjoy goes down. I'm not sure if that was uh, the ultimate coming out from uh, from Camden County or not. Well, Bus is gonna get spotted by Twid. Gonna push in. He's gonna flash out on the sea, see if anyone's close by. Flash long, Vortex on the lineup skin. There it goes out. One enemy remaining. Last is now in a 1v1. Flame's got his dart. Revealing the intel. Eddie. Yep, he's gonna use the intel dart. And <laughs> the lineup wow. proving true that time. Vortex Last will have it. Before the switch. Buy all you need. So, I mean, honestly, the Cougars will be happy with a, even an 8-4, but they'll absolutely love a 9-3, nine, a nine three. but I don't know, Shane. I, I think that, that round previous could have been a win as well. I mean, we could easily be looking at 9-2 and staring ten to, a 10-2 half in, in, in the face here. But um, it wasn't meant to be, and now Allegiance has been called over to the C site. And it looks like the harbor's going to quickly rotate off the scene with KJ just sitting there waiting for it. And they're able to push on just as easily as they usually are. Demon's able to take out Allegiance and he's going through the garage to see if he can get any other picks quickly. And he's got one another two more in the garage coming in through the and we're now he's got Uta going down. The boss is just gonna wait for them to push out, it looks like. And Vortex the boss is able to see one and he gets him. One for one trade there again. Vortex offsite as he's played every every round. he's got both. Great half from Camden County. Gonna take it three to nine. Really, really, really strong aim there from Bus. We see some more emotion coming out from the Cougars. They were very calm and collected to start it, but now they're seemingly to get more relaxed and showing their emotions. Turret out. So a three nine half obviously is very good. The Ram, I mean, not unwinnable for the Rams of NCU, no doubt about it. But they're going to have to play near perfect. I mean, the pistol round will be critical to have to have make sure that they have any sort of chance. And just so everybody watching is aware, again, we are swapping sides now. So the Cougars will show us how their defense looks. The Rams of NCU will show us the attack side. And already off the bat, we can see how the defense of the Cougars is very different from that of the Rams. With one on A link and one on C and the other three holding B. Looks like Griff is waiting to see if they're going to go see. He's getting ready to throw down his wall. And the others are just waiting to push onto site. And I like this play from Camden County. Again, with the Killjoy playing this way, they can pretty much play off site. And Cubby's able to get on quickly and take out Vortex. It's been a big part of the team. Main towards Garage, and he's able to get some intel out to the rest planted. of them. Throws down his shock dart. And Yuno coming up on the flank. He does get Cubby. Oh, wow. Cubby's able to refrag that. Yeah, just some missed shots, possibly. Last player standing. Wow, and the Cougars are all taken down in CT. That, uh, that Viper was uh, very influential in that. Yes, uh, Moss uh, thus far has been a, a key player for the Rams. Um, if you take a look on the side of the Cougars, it's been a little bit more of an even game across the board. So, um, you know, I, usually I think that's advantage, the team with more even kills. But here we go, the Cougars, and we often see this on a pistol round loss, they like to, to change things up and just kind of go for a haymaker, see if they can catch a team kind of leaning in, in a particular direction. And it looks like the Cougars are pushing out on the attackers this time. Trying to get picked quickly. Cubby able to get Uno down. 
Spike Lost down, attacker spawn. Jump out window, be able to get one. Last player standing. And now Vortex is on a 4v1. A 4v1, but any sort of damage they can deal here is good, of course. Um, they might even be thinking uh, the Rams. As you see this kind of grouped rotation, I think that they're expecting Vortex to just be looking to get, um, you know, some sort of frags, just making sure to play the buddy system. So the plant will go down C. And Vortex slowly creeping Gun here. through the grass. He's going to garage while all of the Rams are sitting back in C long. And it looks like KJ Smoke's just down. put down their turret to get some easy shots onto Vortex. Now Vortex almost certainly going to be playing for exit frags, I would think. Or any sort of damage, maybe just trying to find somebody that's going to walk into a right click, but it won't be, will not be Twid in that particular round. So uh, the Rams have done exactly what they're supposed to do, or at least have given themselves a chance in this one. Five to nine, they've taken the pistol. Uh, they've taken the the, uh, the post pistol round as well. Now we're into the bonus round. This is it. Um, if they've ran the Rams are able to take this round, very much they are in business in this half and in this map. If not, Cougars still feeling very much in control. And just like the Cougars, it looks like the Rams Launching are smoke. opting to go for a quick push on the B site. They're able to take over site with Vortex playing very close. Flash goes out, one gets through, Vortex is able to get through. Spike down. My God. <laughs> and like lambs to the slaughter, or should I say rams to the slaughter. They walk right in front of, I believe it was Vortex there. And just had the uh, the support from his team as well. Great ran round for Camden County. Very decisive. And it looks like they're still opting to... Oh, no, maybe not. They're having 2 on A. Looks like Yuno's going to take over Garage. And they're going to have a split. Looks like the Rams are going to take... Spike onto C while using Util on A and B to get some movement. And now we have a slow push from the Rams, there. unlike the last few rounds. Oh, they're calling something out. Viper throws down the orb, allowing Cubby to get the capture. Of course, Flame is going to know all about that. You're going to get all those sorts of audio cues, trying to fish for something, not finding anything. Standing ahead. He's going to shoot out his recon dart to see if he's able to catch anyone down there still. And it looks like all the ramp, the Cougars are staying on site. They're not pushing out yet, waiting to see if they commit to a site for moving. And we're gonna have a lot of you till going through the garage. They dogged out. They got the wall up, and Flame is taken down, but not before he takes one other. Cubby's able to push on. Here, you know, Vortex swings into the garage. He's unfortunately taken out by a kid. Spike planted. Yeah, you know, caught out with an ability is one thing that feels bad in this game when it happens. Demon's gonna start in the garage. Oh, and he jet boat dashes. Last Damn. player Oxford. standing. Ooh. Drift with my shot on Demon in garage. So six to ten is the score line. Three rounds to only one in this half. Of course, Camden County with that giant round um, in the bonus, but that is one you expect them to win. Uh, right now, the Rams showing us a much Here. more comfortable attack. You know, if they start to uh, you know, put a couple more rounds together, especially this, this one right here, again, that's when you start to think, okay, this is going to be a map. Placing swarm grenade. Looks like the Rams may be switching up and going, opting for an A push this time. Demon trying to push up with a quick flank to see if he's able to take anyone out early. Now this could get dangerous for Demon if they decide, the Rams, if they decide to commit to the A site, surely they're going to check their corners. And it will be challenging 
Oh, wow. The Rams might have the read here. With this, this, uh, this Viper Wall, they know that he's pushed up. And he'll go down. And flame clips are rotating on site and see if we get a shot dart down, possibly stopping them from entering so fast. And he has to up site and to wait for his team to come over. They're getting the plant down. And we're just gonna have to wait Spike for a retreat. Flash goes out by bus. He's able to get somebody. We have a raise ult coming out by Cubby. He's able to get him and he gets hit with a dog. So now we have two Kevin trying to get some picks with two more in CT. And it looks like they may be opting to save instead. Yeah, not find any of those picks, uh, even low health here, um, on flame. Excuse me, on bus. Uh, so they're gonna opt to just take their guns, knowing that if they weren't able to win that round, it was definitely going to be a save. Now, you know, could do some damage here. Skyflash not gonna find him here. Ten seven. All right, so it looks like the Rams of NCU have come to play this map very much in play now in this half. And we did expect this to be a back and forth match, so the Rams are really showing that they're uh, they're not out of the fight yet. Here, out. And it looks like we may be opting for another A push. Wave crashing. And they're going to throw out on Util, getting the wall up, <laughs> allowing them to move up if they so choose. The Cougars going to get aggressive here out mid. Trying to change up the tempo just a little bit. And Bus is able to tell that there are still some people I've coming got from your trail. And there goes the Sky Ult coming out from Found the Rams, allowing them to know where the Cougars are sitting. Not ready. And get some on site really easily. Flame able to take out the Rays. It trades it right back, and now the, the Cougars have them cornered. Because they did lose the mid control, did the Rams. And it looks like we're able to get a rotate to get some healing done. And they are all slow pushing. Uh, he, take out one. he gets two, and he gets the third. Five down A. Who could have predicted this? All right. Phenomenal I play do. there. You know. And Demon holding that mid window. And it would have to, it was gonna take both of them to hold that push, that rotation from NCU. Turn out. And look, it's like the Cougars are switching up their setup a little bit. We have Yuno know going towards C, setting up his util in both garage and on site. We're opting for two on A and two on B this time, possibly pushing out into mid. Smokes down. The playing drone. The Rams throwing up that wall again. Flame is able to get his drone through, allowing him to get through. And they're able to vortex to the catch Cubby out. Wow, and the buddy system again, because I think if, if Flame is alone there, I think he's dead. But with Vortex with him, and now a, a little flank, a little cheeky position from Demon will take two. And now it looks like the Rams are confused on where they're going. And this is all an all important round. This will be map, uh, this put the Cougars on map point sitting at 11 rounds to their name at the moment. They're slowly pushing. It seems like Bus might be able to get them caught out. They're checking their corners. Swings, ooh, and Griff is able to take him down. Yeah, that's just bad timing that time, unfortunately. I think it looked like uh, possibly Bus was expecting to uh, catch somebody uh, napping. 30 seconds left. But nothing doing. With that, however, Bucks does allow the team to know that they are coming from mid and rotating off of C. So they have two over on A now, with one slowly coming from Molly. B. And 
Vortex sees him come along. He's taken down by one enemy remaining. Demon with the Cthulhu Dragon. He gets the second. Quadra kill for Demon that time. Playing absolutely phenomenal Match in this point. half on the jet. Look at that. We get the we get the fist bump going across the row. Haven't seen that one yet. Big play for the team. So map point. The Cougars looking for just one more. NCU gonna have to win five straight to send us to OT. Placing swarm grenade. And it looks like we got you know back Placing on C setting grenade. up his grenades. He's got his turret in garage, allowing him to get some util there, maybe some quick shots. And it looks like the wall's coming out from their harbor, pushing up C. I suggest you move! And Yuno's just caught in all that util. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely going to be tough to deal with there, both a Flash and a Harbor Ultimate. And now a Viper Ultimate. I mean, I guess now is the time. If you're the Rams, there's no reason to leave anything on the table here. They're going to commit um, a two Ultimates to win this round. I mean, it hasn't been won yet, but not going to be easy for the Cougars. Oh, and Fossey is able to get a quick two. Playing with a third with his ult. Vortex gets another two. And the retake of the season, possibly! The Cougars know what kind of buttons to press to win that the round. Cougars Can win. you believe it? Wow! Now, Shane, I went from being down in the dumps that that round was lost to suddenly extremely excited and ecstatic. What a play from the Cougars there! And that is why we play this game. That's why we play. We we're in where we could compete in esports. So, tell me, what, what did you see in that game, and uh, what what can we expect going forward? How will the Rams respond? I think that was just some great teamwork all together from the Cougars. They had great communication, able to play off of each other really well. Especially that last round, everyone was able to get the Rams off the site within seconds. I we'll see if the rounds are able to bounce back. Yeah, no, I mean, I again, a 4-1 team, we saw glimmers there of that 4-1 team, especially in the second half. So I think we'll see more of that. Um, so we're going to take a small break here to switch maps. So we'll be back in just a, in less than five minutes, everybody, uh, for map two. It should be very exciting. So we'll see you in just a few.
All right, welcome back everybody to Camden County College Cougar Esports heading into map two. In this best of three set, the Cougars taking a one to zero lead. And now we will see how they uh, how they fare on the defense side of the uh, of the game first. This is of course gonna be a bind and it is the selection of the Rams. So the Cougars winning their map as they should. The Rams likely to show us a bit of a different look here on bind. And it looks like our team comps changed up a little bit. Fuss breaking out a cypher and the Rams having a chamber come out. And it looks like Yuno is also on Raze rather than KJ this round. And of course it's just the pistol round so we don't expect any buys for util or armor here. Looks like Flames quickly to take over on B. And it looks like the Rams are going possibly for a split push. Yeah, it looks like they have sending two up B mid and the others three towards A. And it looks like we have a possible swap site for raise. Playing push now sends a flash down long to be able to capture the orb. And thanks to buses, we're able to see two coming out onto A. Cheeky one way is gonna find Griff to start us off in map number two. And we'll see if they still know about the one other sitting in Fuka. And it looks like the Rams are now just pushing up onto A site with their other three. Vortex just waiting in the smoke to see if he can get a pick. He catches one out, but is he able to get them? He gets right click. Oh, and Moss takes him down. Demon now gets taken out by Twid, who is going through showers. You know, on the retake. Planted. You know, slowly pushing through ramps to see if he's able to get anyone. And he gets Moss with Flame taking out Twid. Hubby quickly on a retake for Yuno. Flame sees one. Does he get the knowledge on the other? And Boss is with him. He's able to throw down a cage. Two sights. Boss pushes in. He's not able to take that Hubby in his cage. Close one there for Camden County. Pistol round goes the way of the Rams. Um, on their back foot were the Cougars on, in that one. It's actually kind of surprised. They got some quick kills there from Yuno and Flame to give them a chance in that round. But uh, the 2v2 wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. So un unfortunately, the Cougars will lose that pistol. And if we take a look at the, bu the money situation here, of course, it will be a complete force buy. Not really a forced buy, but it, they're maxing out are the Rams. And the Cougars will change up the tempo. Yuno's able to push out. Lane comes to the teleporter. He's quickly taken down by Twitch. You know, still lurking there to see if he's able to get anyone pushing towards him. Boss is ready to get run into by Moss. He gets a right click. He gets a second shot. He gets Moss, but Allegiance is able to quickly take the refrag. Vortex Boy. looks like he's got another lineup for this fight. Vortex is going to have to call him Captain Lineup here. Knows e all of them. And they're slowly pushing the back of sight, going towards elbow. Map two pistols and possibly still three or four Bulldogs on the other team. Had and he's able to push out. Demon luckily able to get him. Vortex just sitting in his spot. Last player out. standing. And Cubby gets both of them. But again, a round that you don't expect to win if you're Camden County. You're just trying to do economical damage, which they are. They are. They were able to do, taking out two of NCU. They probably would have liked at least a third, possibly, to make things just a little bit more even here. 
But um, regardless, it's going to make it so that uh, individuals like Moss and Griff are going to be on Sheriff and Light Armor buys, and that's exactly the kind of thing that you get. Um, that's the kind of advantage you get when you, know you get some kills in that post-pistol round. And it looks like we have still have Cougars opting for three on A, with the Rams slowly sitting, waiting to see if they're able to get anyone pushing out. Looks like the Rams have Chamber lurking through showers. And they get some util down, the Viper wall goes up, and just as that, he goes down. They are very reluctant to move. They're just waiting out their options. We've got a Sky Dog coming out to see if they're able to stun. Gonna get some intel. And now a very deliberate defense. Excuse me, well, both a, a disciplined defense and a disciplined attack coming out. And you know with the timing, he's got one. The Vortex has more. It'll be three. And now just Twid left alive. Dave will get one more down. He gets a quick swap onto the Phantom. Boss comes behind. He's slow. And he's able to get Twig to finish out the round. Now, I mean, listen. A round win, you're always going to take it. I don't want to be a naysayer. Very happy they are, Camden County, to get that victory. Get on the board. But a lot of damage dealt. I mean, of course, that's a round you cannot afford to drop. But that said... Uh, like I said, still some economic damage. So if we take a look here, somebody like you know is going to be in an awkward spot. He has enough for a Vandal and Light Armor, but I'm not sure. We'll see what he ends up doing. It's just going to be Heavy Armor and the Classic maybe going to just pick up uh, a Fallen Rifle of his teammate. Flame gets a flash through Blinded. the wall. He's able to throw two. Demon waiting to see if he's coming to push through showers. He throws a one way. And just like the last round, the Rams are very slow on their push. He throws out his box to see if he's able to get anyone, and they get a flash out as well. Now, I'm not sure what that play is from the Rams. I mean, the utility there at least baits out another smoke. It might eventually be a B play as you start to see them start to lean on that side. And Flame here, and Flame and Bus in long will have to be huge. Nobody in hookah. And Bus is able to bait them out. They don't know Flame's there. He's able to get one. Boss get lost and Flame flashes Moss and gets him down as well. And he throws his hole down. He's getting his Sky Dog down, but Twid is able to get him from sight. Alright, so they're going to use the teleporter. I was going to say, I almost wish Flame would have used the teleporter there, um, taking those kills, but they do they expect Demon? They don't! And Demon actually able to get another there! There's Vortex again with the Molly lineup possible. You know, with the flank, he was able to get Vandal off of somebody. Last player standing. Cubby's able to get one. Spike planted. You know, now has to play the retake, and he Ooh. gets it. Wow. Has the flick, and that was the flick that the Cougars are gonna need. Shame. I love explosions. Wow, that got tense. I mean, the, these are these these teams definitely putting on a show for us here. The Cougars looking more comfortable in map one, but a lot of those rounds, even in map one, could have gone either way. And now, just like we were in map one, we are tied 2-2. Two, two. Yes, this should do. And just like that, it looks like we have did see uh, some rams with a stinger rather than being able we to must buy get them out. Yeah, it looks like a full here. save for the most part for the Rams. You want to play? Let's play. And a quick ult by the chamber, allowing to use the sniper. He's gonna hold lamps while Ray's pushes up. Cubby quickly flashed by a dog. Now Flame also, by the way, took a peek long, didn't see the chamber. And listen, there's really only two places you're gonna play an op on this site. I think that's going to indicate to um, to the Cougars that the chamber is going to be lurking here in this uh, short position. And it looks 
like they're now throwing all their utility that they possibly can onto A. Yuno's able to get Moss while Legion's is getting planted on Yuno with the old. Hobby's able to take him out. Vortex with the quick refrag. One Legion's enemy gets remaining. Vortex. Spike down A. Twid with one. He'll need two more. I have them. But he's not going to look the right direction. Did not look both ways before he crossed the street there. We know what we're doing. That joke would have landed better, Shane, if Bus had gotten the kill. I'll remember that for a future cast. And if you're casting Valorant later, you're welcome to take that one. All right, so heading into a timeout. So as we like to do, we like to let the players, uh, you know, just talk it out. And we get to talk it out as, as casters. So just like we saw in map one, uh, a timeout being taken, this time a little bit earlier, though. Um, so w what's your read on that? Um, I mean, early they can stop the momentum before it really gets a train rolling. But if they using it early, it stops them from being able to slow them down later on. So it could go either way with that one. Yeah, I mean a desper. I mean, I don't want to say desperation move. I mean, I think that's a little. It's a little too early to say that necessarily. But I think that the NCU realizes, just like the Cougars uh, do, that this is a very important game. That you can easily lose this game and next be four and three. This is a must-win map for them. I, I think there's. I, I, I think it's a little too far, like I said, to say their season depends on it. But the season comes into question if you lose this one. So really important. I, and I kind of like the early timeout, so we'll see how they respond. All right, and it looks like the Cougars are that swapping it out for big, throwing three people onto C, or onto B rather than A. Oh, this is a nice spot. Really flash regions going through B. That Griffin copy lurking. You know, they would cross. But they're gonna get the four down, and they don't need to get to back them off. Just as before, it's another slow push from the Rams. You know, pushing through Hookah, possibly going for a pick up down mid. And gets his dog out. He's gonna check through long. Looks like Cubby's very close to, uh, to Yuno, also from out the dog. Oh god, that dog didn't see Yuno, and I think Yuno suspects it. I kind of wish he had held that spot, maybe. But of course, the Rams were not being aggressive. He'll find one! It looks like he quickly changes out for Flame to throw them off. Oh, and timey's everything. Demon had the spot, doesn't know that Griff crossed! If he holds this spot, Griff is surely going to find his, his crosshairs. Oh, he got a spot. He gets a shot off, but it doesn't hit. Spike no down, B. Flame's able to Last pull it down and hook it. It's now 2v1. But Flame has the spike. <laughs> oh. Wow, a crazy round there. Uh, I thought the Cougars would have had that one. Griff with a smart play. Tied up 3-3, three, three. that's a good round for the Rams coming out of that timeout. That's Hopefully a good the spot. Cougars are able to respond. Cougars mulling their decision here with the uh, economy the way that it is. It definitely will not be full buys across the board. It might just be one of those rounds where you just try and get your money lined up as a team. So we get to see Flame, for example, buying into this one. Looks like Vortex is going to play close up on court, which is where they've been pushing most of these rounds when they go A. And he falls back in the lane. Fire in the hole! Yeah, the Rays don't go now. Oh no, Griff um, really got away with one there. I've got your trade. Oh, and Yuno's able to take down the spike carrier. And they don't know about Last Bus. Standing. Well, actually, they might. It's a 1v2. Bus's timing is going to be critical here. Spike planted. Does get the dink. Good damage dealt. Low health bars, but he's going to try and heal up. Now 
Uh, spit up a ring around the Rosie with bust. Hubby throws out a flash. He gets bust, but he does, does not flash. Boss is just trying to bait him out at this point. Let's see if he's able to one enemy And he gets enemy. one. And oh he gets my. two! Wow! Can you believe it? That is not a round that the Cougars should have won! Clutch. You Unreal! Let's play high stakes. A stinger and a prayer, Shane, to win that round. How did that happen? It's always fun going back to the arena to see their reactions after that. It really, it really makes... I mean, listen, just as a quick aside, it's like a you know, breaking character production moment. I, it, it, we're all about telling the players' stories. We're about telling the stories of our students like yourself as well. It really makes it more real when you can start to look at the arena. You can start to see that these are not just bots playing. These are humans that have emotions. So awesome to see the team react. And Demon looks like he's got a different angle than before up on boxes. He's going to wait through showers so where Twit is usually lurking. And it looks like they went back to having three on A this time. All of the Rams, it seems, are pushing short, except for Twig, who's lurking through showers. And yet again, we'll see if Demon's able to catch him out when he pushes through. The Cougars not, um, it looked like they were getting ready to send Bus over from B to A. Thought better of it, maybe got called off because they haven't commit committed, that is, the Rams here onto the, uh, the A site. And we see the few Rams are going towards B. Possibly getting some picks, possibly just getting some util to try to get the uh, rotate. So Bus is there, he's waiting, possibly gonna get Cubby. Oh, he saw him. So 30 now they seconds have left. Until that. At least one is moving on. Vortex holding it down in Lambs. Looks like two are pushing in. Oh, and he goes for it. Demon Fight with the kill. Vortex is not going to know about this other player lurking. Doesn't much matter. Twid with the kill. 13 seconds remaining, but the spike is surely going to go down. 10 seconds left. Spike one, planted. He's going to push through heaven to see if he can get it out. Viper goes down. That will stop them a little bit from sight control. Boss takes out Griff, and they get the ult to get the new kill. One enemy remaining. There we go. They get one more. Last player standing. Oh, Moss, though. And now it is the Viper left alive. Now Flame maybe just waiting on this no flash here. And it looks like he might have seen where it came from. Goes all the way around boxes. I think this round might be unwinnable at this point with those snake bites available. Clutch. And that was um, that was a a light buy for from the Rams. So we're seeing these teams in eco rounds have big plays. It, it has gone both ways. Four, four, four more rounds in this half. Here. And it looks again that the Rams will be pushing through a short, sending Twig to lurk showers. Push out long so he can get the orb. Prepare for help! Unable to get out of it. Griff able to take down Demon. Out of took charges. a lot of damage there as well. Spike Getting the planted. Plant down. And Flame is able to get around on the flank. Twiz able to get Yuno up in heaven. And Bus looks like he might just be waiting. <laughs> Boss able to get Griff, and he's in a 4v1 situation now. He gets flashed by Cubby. He's able to back up. We'll see if he's uh, able to get any exit frags, or if he votes to just save. Yeah, I think it's going to be a save. I, I, I don't... Um, I'm not even sure if Bus bought this Vandal himself. Maybe he did, but... The fact of the matter is, the economy has is not not great right now for Gambit County, so you want to take this into the next round for sure.
And he is able to do that. So Vandal in hand. It should be a buy. It should be a rifle buy here for Camden County. It doesn't look like Vortex is going to be able to afford heavy armor, but otherwise, across the board, they will have it. Full utility and nearly full armor across the board with rifles. So ever since that timeout, Shane, I believe it's been three to one <laughs> rounds in favor of the Rams of NCU. Now, so a good timeout usage shot. thus far. Going up. And it looks like this time we have Moss with the spike lurking on B as well as Twig going through B long. They're still sending their three short to keep the Cougars at bay. And a lot of util being used. And we're having one push. Why destroyed? And it looks like Griff quickly. Rotates off using the teleporter. We'll be able to get that call for flames. Know that people will be coming his way. Grenade. You know, does have this ultimate available. Opting not to use it just yet. Want to play? Fight play? Planted. Wanting to play the retake. The flame looks Look like he's waiting for the smokes to go down. He's able to throw out a flash, and he's got you know right next to him. To hopefully, be able to play off of each other. Flame gets one, Griff gets Vortex. And oh, and Flame, Flame wasn't looking. Definitely saw one there in Hookah, but wasn't looking the right direction. Unfortunate. Okay, so two more rounds here, and uh, these these rounds going the distance, Shane, going really down to the very, to the wire. These attackers um, um, of NCU trying to find some sort of early picks, but the the Cougars aren't really giving into that. But the late game, the late round execution has been pretty uh, pretty crisp by NCU. And as we saw, Demon only has a Sheriff looking to hopefully get a pick or an orb to give him his ultimate. And Flame is going on an adventure here. The first time he has done that, might have a knife out at the wrong time. Is Twin going to be ready? He will be. I kind of like the idea, though, getting a bit adventurous. Boss is able to see that, and he backs back onto site rather than pushing forward. He does have some util in Hoopa if he needs to use it. And it looks like the Rams are opting to go A this round. Griff already in the Rams. Demon's able to get lost on the flank. And that's a, that is absolutely huge. It gives the Cougars a chance in this one. And I think Yuno senses it. He's going to get aggressive, misses the shot. Demon, however, with the kill, you know, as well getting into it. What just happened? Last round in the half. I'm gonna be honest, Shane, for such a hype round, I uh, was kind of surprised that they weren't more, <laughs> uh, um, uh, a little bit more excited for that one. All right, well, so we have another timeout coming, and an interesting timeout, honestly. It will be the Cougars taking that one. Um, and it was the Cougars that just took that round. So maybe um, Co Coach Fallout um, sensing again that Need, they need this. They need to go into the half 6-6. Six, six. Um, but these eco rounds, apparently, eco's where it's at. Don't yeah. buy guns and win the round, Shane. That's the formula we're seeing. Yeah, and they're doing a pretty great job. Even when they have the eco, they're able to take out a, two, three people on, on the defending team uh, to damage their economy. So they're doing well, even when they're not. Yeah, it... it which I think it just kind of encapsulates what we're seeing here, which is a really scrappy game more than anything, right? So um, it, it really comes down to, like, it, 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 players just doing some unusual things, but not doing it all the time. Because if you do it all the time, of course, then that becomes a bit of a tell, becomes a trend. What we saw with Demon pushing showers, for example, catching them off guard, exactly what we like to see. So we're getting ready to head back into it. The last round of this half, half, it is, of course, map number two. The Cougars looking to win map two, to win the week NSL you week want to six, play? which would send them to play. five and one. And so you having something to say about it.
looks like we already starting off with two ults going out. Twid with his, and Rift throws trying. out his as well. On the site, he ults. Misses Bus. Bus gets the kill on him with the cubby with a quick refrag. They're getting the ult, uh, the spike down. Spike he's pushing up. He's got two in his sight. Twid's able to get Demon out with his ult. Smoke. Vortex is throwing down the smokes, giving them a little bit of cover to work with. And now they've lost, they've lost track of Cubby here in Elbow. And Yuno is able to get some movement with those uh, satchel charges, getting him out of harm's way. He's able to push up to the top and get a play, and the Legion takes him down. Who's Vortex with a quick refrag, he knows there's one uh, on Elbow still. <laughs> Gets the tap, but unfortunately not able to get the kill. All right, 5-7 is the stat line swapping sides here. Sides. A closer first half than we saw in map number one. And the Rams, of course, now on the positive side of that. So we'll see how it goes. Um, a good response, though. Let me, if we take a look at the rounds here, the Cougars were at one point um, losing 4-3. They did bounce back a little bit. But honestly, right now, all the momentum on the side of the Rams. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. And it looks like the Rams are going to have a similar setup to the Cougars having three on A and opting for two on B. And the Cougars look to have a split push, sending two, it looks like, maybe three down long and the other two on mid. Twid with a far push up that he's able to recall with it. Hunt, hunt. Flame throws out the dog. He's Scout able to get some on them. Demon is able to push in. And they're quickly taking control. Demon with a kill on Twid. They see some shots coming from Elbow. Flame takes ready for it. He gets the right quick. And Demon, by the way, with a knife kill. We didn't see it. But you'll have to take our word for it. And they're One really holding down the site here. Lane gets it on Moss for three kills on that round. Huge round for the Cougars. Needed that pistol to settle things down. Six to seven. Um, and again, I know we talked about it. Uh, 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 these four spies, these ecos have actually worked out for teams, but... You'll, we will be looking for the Cougars to uh, to tie us up at seven all here. Um, if we take a look at the the buy, it'll actually be possibly only utility, nothing else being purchased from from the Rams. The same push. Oh, we got a quick peek. It looks like three are watching me. Now, bus. It's going to be all five stacking mid here. Bus with two. What a play by Boss and Yuno taking them out on mid. They know where the last is. They have him trapped in there. He cannot move without getting shot. And Flame is able to finish it out for him. So the Rams reading the the Cougars playbook that time, knowing that uh, they like to typically take that save round and just go for a Hail Mary play. Try and see if they can catch them napping. And it almost worked. I mean, it looked like if they landed a couple of shots, Bus was dead dead to rights. Maybe they lost him there. Regardless, he lives. The Cougars with big kills and a big round win. Tying us up at seven apiece. Out. And we have the same flash going out with another orb from the Viper. They, however, do not elect to push down long. Plus, you know, pushing into a hookah, being very so careful of the flank. If demon through, and you know, checking his corners before going into sight, he does get flashed. So he gets one, he gets two, and it cost them a couple of teammates, but they have control of the B site, and the spike will go down. It will come down to Twid here on the flank as well as his teammate Allegiance. Only a judge in hand 
not going to be the weapon that you want on a retake unless somebody gifts him something. And again, Yuno is going to be relatively close here. We'll see if he gets a sound cue onto Allegiance to stop him. One, then he does. Remaining. Wow, what a flick. Got the flick. The refrag is there from Twid. But this is going to be near impossible. The, the intel going to be gained from both of these players. And Vortex quickly able to sit him down as they take the lead for the game. The Cougars now, with a, that momentum, it is, is turning in their favor. Calm, cool, and collected in the arena. Of course, we are playing from the William G. Roar Center, everybody. If you're interested in competition, we definitely want to hear from you. If you're interested in doing what Shane's doing right now, do some casting, doing behind the scenes work, we also want to hear from you. Esports production degree. Just uh, recently uh, inked a signing with Stockton to continue. All right, that is a uh, two plus two in articulation agreement. So please reach on it. And it looks like the Cougars are moving their way up on B yet again, electing to send two through. It has been their preferred site here. And I, that's what we saw them do on attack, Shane. In map one, they fell in love with a particular play and just kept hammering it home. It, it just kept working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this time, it looks like the rotations will come out a little faster from the ramps. And Yuno is able to get a pick on to Legion's cup. Everyone's just dropping so fast. Now this time it's only going to cost them one teammate to get control of the site, and now Vortex is going to be here as Twid comes around the corner. Bagged and tagged. Nine right to here. seven, four rounds in a row. The momentum very much now on the Cougars' side, but that was a full save for the Rams, and now they will be buying very much into this one. They're at that max loss bonus as well, so they're um, they're looking to to stop the bleeding. And this time it looks like we do have a lurker in you know over on a yeah we haven't seen the cougars really favor anything on the a site uh for a little while here but now, and also by the way twid holding long but he's gonna get spotted out maybe maybe not maybe didn't quite have the range or couldn't see what the weapon was in hand but nonetheless twid with first blood in this round you know quickly on to a Quickly taken down by Griff, who was sitting over by showers. Yeah, it was going to be Yuno know, having to take on pretty much the whole team. There were three Rams there. And it looks like they may be just trying to be a rotate to A here with Bus slowly peeking through Hookah. He does hear Moss jump onto site. We'll see if he's able to do He saw a head there. They now know where two of them are. They are able to critically bait out that snake bite. So it's going to be even numbers, three versus three. So if the Cougars could win their ones. Last player standing. Spike down, B. And Boss just missing that shot. Does have the spike in hand, so he can play with the audio cue a little bit. Will they let him get this spike down? The spike. Where oh wow, gonna commit here! Try to get a huge play. Defuse the spike. Wow, and bus almost with that one. I mean it was it was honestly very, very close. And I I think the Cougars not too upset about committing that that cipher ultimate. One of the easiest ultimates in the game to get. And also one of the hardest to use. So whenever you see a big play opportunity, Let's I think it's there. the go button. I think you press it. This goes here. Again, it almost worked out for him. He was able to get one down. Unfortunately, the other two were close behind. All vandals all the time and a big bank for a number of players on Camden so they can afford to lose at least another round before they have to think about saving, I think. Time to hunt. Like flames falling up long again. Hopefully, Scout be able destroyed. to catch out Twid with the op. Well, Twid has actually repositioned, not wanting to be in the same place twice, but may, he might wish that he was. And Flame with a big hold on the site, allowing him to get 
full control very quickly. And they know Cubby is in that elbow spot. They're just trying to get him out and get the easy pick while they uh, wait for the rotate. And now Vortex, all eyes will be on him because he has both ultimate available and his incendiary. And there he's going to commit the ultimate to start. There we go, we get another lineup from him. Let's see how this one fares out. Now will Cubby just try and hold this? He's going to get pinged out. He will just hold it. Just like we saw in map one, that particular lineup, maybe just a second or two too late. And it looks like Camden is able to afford a full buy. They absolutely are, but it will definitely be a save round if this uh, if this round is a loss. So um, big round here, knotted up at nine apiece. Again, this is map number two. Cougars looking to close this one down. NCU trying to push us to a map three. And it will be a Viper ultimate to start. And that was a quick Blinded. ultimate, but they, it was on B, which is where the, the Cougars have been favoring to go. They have it. They have it. They don't have a Sova, but they certainly have some intel. And wait a minute. With that kill, maybe Bus is able to get an ult off. He might not need it. I know exactly where. Boss is able to get the intel on them. We'll see that they're all coming from the back of the site. A little bit of an overheat there, maybe from Yuno. Maybe feeling that he could with the Cypher ultimate ready to proc again. Playing with a flash. It looks like Rams are just holding out over, on, over in spawn. Is this going to be a save from them? There doesn't look like there's any urgency right now. It's definitely going to be a save. I mean, oh, you know what it is? Twid with an op. So maybe that's what the play is here. If I'm the Cougars, I don't think I get adventurous, but Flame certainly wants to. Does he have the time to get away? Of course, he has the teleporter. Going to opt to go hookah. I think he goes down here, right? <laughs> wow, and he does, but the round. Gun here in the hands of the Cougars. But honestly, that, that Vandal being dropped by Flame it is not a yeah. small thing. I think that's pretty big. I know he's gonna have one that here, but the trickle down, uh, trickle down economics here, Shane, uh, might come to play. We'll see. Twit, of course, all importantly, still has an op in hand. Teleport's ready. And it looks like he's got his position all ready to go and his escape route planned, just in case it's needed. Scout destroyed. Pull cat! Flame's able to get that intel, he's got the flash out with a counter flash. This time, uh, NCU playing three on the B site. And it looks like the Cougars are taking it a little bit slower than before. Trying to get as much down as possible before they commit to the site. And of course, it's Moss here hanging really tight with the Judge, where it will do quite a bit of damage. Boys and boys. Looks like Cubby's able to bog out on too long to get some intel for you. Uh. He's able to get Yuna. Demon Yuna's able to get Moss. They come out, Moss gets a kill. Vortex is able to take out Griff, and they're getting sight control. It's now a 2v2, they're getting the smokes oh, down. I was gonna say, I was gonna expect that there, they made it out. No kills gain, and just a delay maybe on the plant. They are at a health dish of the finish, so they will have to play smart. Vortex gets the molly out, stopping them from committing to there. Now low HP on Vortex, but that won't much matter with the Twid op. Actually, advantage a little bit, maybe, Camden County. He's going to see him cross, does bus. And this is a great cypher camera. He's going to see both. Enemy remaining. Vortex with the much-needed kill on Twin. And he gets allegiance as well. 
What a round from Camden County. What smart play. The Cypher and the Brimstone playing so well together. And now at an 11 to 9, yes, you, um, especially good. given that the, the Cougars have won two in a row, they're going to start to smell it a little bit. Um, NCU going to have to force by here one Vandal in armor, but this is going to be upgraded pistols possibly across the board. Uh, otherwise, not wanting the, uh, the Cougars to be on both map and match point. Now it looks like we have the Cougars with an arm. Quid got his ultimate, so he also has one. Demon holding long where he knows that they like to sit. Bust back into Hookah just as quickly as Get he left it. Get out of my it. way! Flash and counter flash flash both of the skies. Another flash come out from Flame and he's taken down by Cubby. Oh, Spike Cutty out his kid. Wow, and Spike Cubby's down. defense was huge. Getting three in an eco round. The Cougars found the only rifle on the board and now trying to prevent them from picking up more, but they can't. Griff with one. Yuna's gonna have to hold a whole lot more. Maybe the rotation is the play. Looks like Yuna's pushing in. Hopefully he's not caught out from the back. He swings, he's able to get Thrifty. They lost track of Allegiance there. And it will cost them. But it's gonna be Cubby, really, coming up huge on the B site, playing B long. And again, we, as mentioned, the only Vandal on the side of NCU and the Cougars found it. And it looks like this they maybe changed fun. up their, uh, their game plan here, <laughs> opting for a push. And it's gonna be the one time Twid does not have an op or op equivalent in hand. Prepare for hellfire! He's able to get pushed off with that ultimate. Twid was pushed by Demon, who's able to get the kill. Riff with the quick refrag. They're getting the plant down on default. Oh, and his Vortex is gonna stick it. It might cost him his life. He does! Like you know, it's got the crossfire in case it's needed. And he's dogged out. Last player standing. Maybe we'll take out one. Oh, but now with needing to kill three. Almost had that second one. Would have made things interesting. Flame could taste that one. Again, getting that kill suddenly would have made things interesting, but nonetheless, 11 to 11 now, and two rounds in a row on Camden County, and now their economy is in in shambles. Do they play for OT, or do they force up here? It looks like, based off of what you know and Flame are thinking about, it's, it's, it's possibly a force, but it's not an easy decision. Maybe wanting to give just enough equipment, enough utility to have a chance in this round, but to still have that overtime in their back pocket. And it looks like they opt to uh, have two force of purchase for the weapon. Hopefully getting a kill to pick up some from the enemy. Fire in the I've got your oh, track right down, B. Flame is able to get his pull out. Cougars just not have, finding their shots that time. They took their shot here, wanting to again. play very fast. And now it doesn't much matter what happens gotcha. here. Just some kills. Uh, might get Vortex close to an ult, and he's got some snappy aim. Wait a second. Plenty of time here. Smoke's Could play down. a game of cat and mouse. But surely, surely this round is not winnable. Do have the quiet. 11 to 12, and now the Cougars playing for OT. NCU trying to force us to a map number three with their backs up against the wall. And look at Cubby, 28 and 17. 
has been an absolute menace, holding down primarily that long B spot. Here. And it looks like the Rams are pushing three to B and a split push from the Cougars. Now Twid again with off in hand this time. The Cougars haven't really seen him here yet, so you know may not suspect it. Ooh, well now they certainly know. And after that miss shot, it's a quick rotate off by Yuno. Opting to stay away from uh, Twid with the op. And we have two in Hookah, another two pushing through the long, a flash comes out through long, and another ball going towards elbow. And there's Cubby spotted out. That's been the top rank, been the problem. And then Allegiance of Cubby getting into it again. Boss holding down Hookah. He knows that there's one elbow. Let's see if he's able to. Oh, no, gonna want to have that shot back. And now it's a 1v5. Miracles will ne be needed for Vortex here. Almost has ultimate available. But doesn't know about Cubby, I don't think. 30 seconds left. Long. Defenders win. Map two in the books. NCU, the Rams of North Central University winning that one, sending us to a map three, Shane. So no early rest for us. Uh, we will be heading to a map three, which we like to see as spectators, but as fans of the Cougars. We certainly wish we would have gotten that map too win. So tell me, what what do, now, now, of course, the Cougars, they, I think they could smell it. They were getting really close. Again, NCU, a quality team. Is there a, going to be a letdown in a map three? What do the Cougars need to do to prevent that? I, I think that one um, just came down to the econ. So if they're able to keep control of that and bounce back like they did for half the match, they should be fine going into map three. Okay. Well, listen, that's why we play them. So we'll see in map three, everybody, we're gonna take a small break. And the next time that we see you, we will be heading into map three, the decider for this week, the NSL week six, Valorant. Two quality teams going head to head. So we will see you in just a few minutes. All right, take care.
going into map three, the final map, we have Sunset. And another team comp switch. We have Vortex going on to the Astra, which we have not seen from either side yet. Unit is staying on the Rays. Demon moved to a Sky rather than the Duelist that he was of Jet. And Bus elects to stay on his Cypher. On the Ram side of things, we have Cubby changing off of the Sky. And it looks like not, they, uh, they elected to not have a healer this time around. Might be a bit map dependent again. Uh, interesting. I want to call out here. Uh, you know, since I've seen a number of these, I've seen I've seen our team play every single week. I think this is the first time I'm seeing uh, Flame maybe not playing Sky, which is kind of interesting. Um, it, it, instead, um, taking the breach. Which, I, by the way, Shane, I want to point out, I am a breach. I won't say I'm a breach main anymore. Breach is my favorite oh, agent. Charges. So love to see him. I mostly play Viper these days. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, definitely a new wrinkle here. Maybe the Cougar is just happy with this selection on Sunset. So, again, just to point out to everybody, 1-1 one, one are these teams. This is the deciding map, and we were starting round one here in just a moment. The all-important pistol the, it will start to... Uh, well, give us an idea of that tempo. What we're going to be able to, to to witness here. And here we go. And it looks like Yuno's quickly on the site. Calls out there, there's nobody on the side. Pushes them back with the Astra smokes. Holding him off his bot and waiting for the perfect time to throw it. And the rest of the team's able to push back to hold. So it's going to be a retake here for the Rams. Right there. And now just Flame and Vortex left alive. Last this Omen Smoke's standing. going to make things awkward. Cougars dropping the, uh, what do we, again, we say the all-important pistol, but I mean, that said, we've seen these teams come back from deficits, uh, a lot of eco round wins, so anyone's guess how this one will go. Camden County, um, not going to do anything, um, anything all that interesting on the uh, economic side of things. Forever. Looks like we're going to have a quick push out onto B yet again. Allegiance the closing there. off mid, stopping any rotate possible from a lurker. Util goes down quick, but we get the spike down. Uno's able to walk his elbow. And wow, Allegiance uh, not dying there is huge for their team. Last player standing. And a uh, uh, quick work on the retake there. The spike does does go down, which is important, mind you. Uh, additional money and that ult orb going Flawless. to a player. But otherwise, uh, a very clean round. And not a round that the, the Cougars really expected to win. I think if Yuno gets that kill in that B connector spot on Allegiance, suddenly things get a bit interesting. Doesn't happen. And the Rams shut it down. Oh, this is a nice spot. It looks like we have the full buy, so we'll hopefully see a slower push from them this time around. Oh, and it looks like they may have uh, actually elected to save a little bit on the ram side. Yeah, and this yeah, round three, they, it seems that they're not gonna they're gonna hold on to those guns. Yuno gets that kill, which was huge, honestly, because, I mean, a second later would have gotten nothing. Demon as well with the kill. Look out. And it looks like they have control of mid, slowly pushing back towards B. Waiting for that Cypher Trap to go down to get some sight into there. 
Demon's slowly pushing, waiting to see if anyone's behind him. Here. And we have two flankers coming from A. Demon pushing into Twid, but does he know he's there? He's gonna check his corner, but doesn't have the shot! Yeah, we got a 3v3 situation. Flame and Twid is right there. Flame able to get the kill on Twid. Aggressive posturing there from Flame, but it pays off. There. Looks like we have a call out from Griff. Giving locations out. One remaining. Boss able to get the kill on Twid. Quick refrag and Flame finishes out the round. Well, in a round that the Cougars absolutely needed to have, they do get it. Uh, but, I mean, N NCU playing that relatively well. Uh, still doing a lot of good damage, I believe, uh, getting three kills for their side of things. So, they'll be into the full buy, and this is the round that really matters. So this is now equal footing for both teams. We have seen both uh, the previous two maps go even to 2-2. Two, two. So we'll see if that trend continues. And it looks like we have another quick push through mid. Demon opening up the door. Satchel out. You know, throws in a slap satchel, seeing if he can get any damage done. Possibly pushing back. And it looks like they have mid control waiting for to see any rotates coming around. Cubby just waiting there, seeing if he can catch anyone off guard. Both teams are playing very slow and very safe. Boss is able to destroy the tripwire of Twin. Now if I'm NCU, I don't know that Yuno is here. I don't expect him. with a quick pick on you know inside the smoke demon getting stunned vortex slowly creeping up onto b 30 seconds left and twid's gonna know about it though camera taken and he gets stunned by flame demon with the flash Spike planted Vortex able to get the flame down. It is a 4v3. Uh, the Cougars uh, have, uh, have often been playing this post plant. They are going to know about Demon, though, off to the side. We got a tap onto the spike. Well, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Demon with three. Absolutely tense moments. Gives himself away. Ill advised. That's not ready. And what a play by Flea. Kill everyone, and our job gets a whole lot easier. There you have it. Camden County bouncing keep right back. Again, in a round they absolutely had to have. We keep talking about them, but it feels like every round is a round that each team needs. And just like the previous two maps, we are knotted up at two apiece. So, I mean, what that means to me, Shane, is that we just don't need to play the first four rounds. We can start at two a piece and start from there. And just as the last two games, it is a back and forth. Strong fights from both sides. Looks like Cougars are going to throw a fast trying. push onto B yet again. Throwing down as much as they can. That will go down. They not pushed on with it. No, opting this time to slow things down. Of course, I think we saw the Sky Ultimate and, uh, come out. Vortex going to commit the Astro as well. They really need this round. Wanted badly. And the Rams with a lot of YouTube. I know exactly. Back. And pull from Twid, it looks like, come out. Giving up the position of the Bust down some util, allowing you know to get out of a tough situation. This and is definitely a tough retake here, Shane. Three, three versus five. One Make that uh, one versus five as they fall very, very quickly. Gun here. 
what a great hold by the cougars there after getting that plant down. All right, I'm not going to say it. That was not a round that they absolutely needed to have, but it's a round that they like to you have, and they now have it in hand to do to the Cougars. So um, that was a light buy. Actually, it may have not been a buy at all. Just utility, I think. Maybe upgraded pistols on the side of NCU. It's now going to be a force up here. Uh, they will be buying across the board. Uh, they're not into that, that max loss bonus. Would be if they lost this one. Here, just all the util going down all at once. Cougar's electing for an A push this time, pushing both the defenders off the site. And the Rams have, have favored this complete retake. They're giving up these sites the moment that there's some pressure, and they are just deciding to play the, with the, uh, playing the retake here. So we'll see it. So he's just gonna be able to tell when they're pushing him. Grenade. Legion's gets a trap. Uh, Great player standing. Flame does have. Oh, he goes a little bit early. He's gonna have to have the shots though. He misses. Oh no, he's gonna want to have that back. Unfortunate. Maybe the nerds got to him. It happens. It absolutely does happen. I mean, he might have even been thinking about the second or third shot he was going to have to hit after that first one. It's like in the, uh, it's like basketball. It's like the NBA. The times in which, you know, you you make you might make a a, a bad a pass or something like that because you're thinking about that next play, but you have to think about that first one. May have been what happened with Flame there. Looks like they're able to buy, so we'll see if they're able to bounce back from that. And we're right back to going to the... Bad Juju maybe on the A site. And uh, also, just a note, Twid taking space off of A, which is going to confirm that B is the play. Riff with Spike a down B. Take him down and getting another before he's taken down by a last player standing. One enemy remaining. Well, they don't know. They being Vortex doesn't know about Twid, the timing. And that is unfortunate. Again, that space being taken from Twid early in the round Please, pays it. dividends. Both teams wide awake for this one. Both teams coming to play. Again, tied at a map apiece. The Cougars down in map three, four, two, three. Still plenty of time left in both this half and the game and the match. Seems like they have a pinch going through mid. Possibly getting some picks with that. They did pretty well when they did push mid, so we'll see if they're able to capitalize with anything here as well. Looks like we have about three going through mid, Demon being the first to lead the group. Man, he had to get, again, had to look both ways, look the wrong direction at the wrong time, and sometimes that's just how it goes. Looks like we have two lurking on B, getting some util being thrown out. Yuna only with a pistol. We'll see if he's able to work with Bust to get a uh, get a weapon off of the, uh, the ramps. Yuna, we haven't seen that ult find all that much in this particular match. Player standing. No, Vortex and the Sheriff, that is something to behold. The first shot's pretty. The next following aren't there. Surely NCU's not going to give him much more than that, right? We have Twid 
creeping up behind Team him. Ace. And he's able to get Vortex. Now the last few mat uh, games we had a quick timeout. It seems like they're opting to hold on to it this time. Yeah, both both coaches determining that the you know, their squads are hanging in there. Uh, you know, and maybe I, I imagine. I, I think with let's see, we have four rounds left here in this map. I, I think uh, Coach Fallout from, from the Cougars might pull the trigger on a timeout after this if they were to lose this round. But we'll see. Maybe maybe giving him one more. But again, this is going to be mostly a full buy for Camden County. You want to find it? His dog. Cage triggered. Now Vor Vortex is going to commit that ultimate early, and I don't know if I love that. Uh, maybe it works out for them. I the only know exactly where. Oh, hold on a second. Now all the intel going to be gained. Spike planted. Cage. No more charges left. And there goes the positions being revealed. Bus getting his util down. Hopefully stop. Saw one on his camera. Boss takes out Bruno. Vortex no takes out Griff. Flame takes out a Legion's Cubby on Bus. One enemy remaining. Demon's able to get. And Demon finishes out the round with a double kill. The Cougars bouncing back. Clawing back here. Against the Rams. Stopping that lost streak. It was three in a row that NCU had. So needed to stop the bleeding. Five to four. These ga these teams, these games, these rounds so very close. And still neither team electing to use that timeout. So we'll see if it uh, just gets held for the uh, later half of the game. Thing. Another A push right from the Cougars. Probably spotted out by the dog. They're all pushing. The cougars are pushing them both really well. They clear the corners. They're able to get two. And now they have complete sight control of A. You see Allegiance with the Slinger trying to get a few. Boss gets to go and the plant. Just wait to see if they uh, if they're able to hold it off. You know, takes out a legions. There's a satchel. We got some sprays going out to Blinded. tear them from Healing our pushing site. <sighs> Plus, getting that much needed heal from demon. NCU at this point probably playing for exit frags and an eco. In the save, but I mean, a Griff only with a frenzy in hand. But I, one thing I will say, Shane, that I think kind of goes underrated in Valorant is not wanting to give kills away that that also give money and ult economy to your opponent. So I think that was this weird situation where NCU was giving away the round, but just wanted to make sure that they got, um, uh, make sure that they died, but didn't give anything away. So here we go. So like we like to do, it's a timeout. So you had called it. You had we had teased that it was coming sometime soon, and here it is. All, all knotted up at five apiece. Um, Cubby decided to pull the trigger that time. Possibly the in-game captain determining that this is now the time. It's five five. We've given away. We had some momentum giving it away. Let's try and recapture that. So what have you seen thus far from these teams? I mean, what can we expect coming in for a landing here? Uh, I think we saw some uh, really good rounds from both teams. They were able to take the... Uh, the Cougars were able to take control of it towards the end, push it onto A, really just make it their own. Um, so I still expect a hard-fought game from both sides, um, and we'll see which one comes out on top. Yeah, I, I mean, I do do as well. I mean, we're and we're, this is a treat. I, I think the fact that, you know, obviously we're fans of the Cougars. We do, we're a little biased here on the stream. We want to see them win, but good competition. Going to map three, tied up, going into round 11. I mean, that's fantastic. So uh, hats off to both of these squads, and we're getting ready to get back into game. All right, well, I mean, NCU does use their timeout. They won't have it for the late goings. 
So let's see if they're able to uh, respond here. The Cougars will still have theirs for later, for the later rounds if needed. Yet again, the Cougars are electing to push onto A. They've had some good success with this site as of recent. There goes all the util. They're clearing out their corners. Now the Cougars do have um, the, uh, the Breach Ultimate available which could make the retake here very difficult, but it might not matter as a number of cougars drop. Can't use that yet. And it looks like Vortex was in a good position. Flame takes out Cubby, Moss with a reef right on the flame. Boss takes out Twid. Cage trigger. We hear it's One tap. enemy remaining. And Vortex is able to get it. And Vortex gets Allegiance to finish out the I round. I face one. I well, and it would be that Breach Ultimate that came in clutch Last that time. The switch. It turned what was, uh, I think, a 5-3 to three deficit, and it kind of evened it up there. They were able to get some good kills, good I damage to, go to, to even fight. it up as the uh, uh, NCU Rams not able to retaliate. But now it's the NCU with the ultimate economy advantage. Uh, Omen, Cypher, and Breach available for them. And we've seen uh, from both sides how important that Cypher camera has been. Bit of a cheeky play there. Doesn't yield the kill. Kill does yield some damage. Pushing up with it. Last player standing. The 1v4, Yuno's gonna have to get to work. Does have the spike. They don't know that he does, but they certainly don't know that Spike's been dropped either. So playing time here, he might be able to find something. It's gonna have to uh, be somebody looking the wrong way. And he's not gonna get that right now with Most. It looks like Yuno might be And he's taken out by Griff, who's lurking behind. Grenade. Six to six. We're heading Switch into inside. the second half, the final half of tonight. It will now be the Cougars showing us how their defense fares against the attack of the Rams. The, here. Possibly the battering Rams on attack. That goes there. We'll see. I got bad jokes for days, everybody. That's why you watch. And it looks like Rams have a similar uh, attack plan as the Cougars had started to take. All of them going towards A. It looks like we have two Cougars sitting Let's back on A. Not necessarily on site, but close enough to make a presence known. And we get some util going out. He's been sitting in the omen smoke. See, will the Cougars have that same approach? Spike planted. Flame able to get one Moss quickly with the refrag. Vortex takes out Cubby. Moss gets Vortex. Last player standing. Quickly turns into a 2v1. Buzz could get this kill here. It would mean a lot. Not a lot of time left. 1v1 Griff versus Bus. He gets a tap. Griff throws a satchel off. But he gets the kill. What a round. It's going to be close. Does he have it? Clutch. He does. My goodness. Wow. What a round, what a clutch up from Bus. I should probably place some stars in the astral plane. I should. And that was really a round uh, that could really sway their momentum, helping the Cougars get yes. back into the swing of things. This goes here. Prepare for that goes there. 
It will be Mossed as the top frag for NCU as we saw it in map one. Maybe a slight tempo change here, getting a little bit aggressive. I only do have those pistols in hand to uh, do the Rams. And the Rams electing for a mid push this time around. We'll see. We have Yuno close on them, but they go past the mid doors. Vortex, if he's able to get any of them here, it would be a great play. They're going to overwhelm him. Anything he can get will be good. Boss able to get one before taking out, getting taken out by Allegiance. You are with enemy two remaining. Two kills. Three kills to finish off the round for the Ram, for the Cougars. Wow. And honestly, um... That got a little too close for comfort. I feel like if you're Camden County, that was about one or two missed shots or made shots on the part of the Rams for com turning completely out the opposite direction. So the round win goes the way of Camden County. But, I mean, I'll be honest, and I, I feel like I've been the naysayer a lot of times here. I think the Rams are happy with that outcome. A lot of damage dealt, taking some guns off the board. And they will be, of course, full buying into this one. Blinded. We have Demon flashing out through the window, allowing them to know that they will be coming A. Luckily, Flame is able to get off of the site, so they will be able to wait for their team to come help with the retake. So there we see an A coming in. Not planted. able to hit anyone. There. Oh wow, gets the kill with the utility. The aftershock goes down. Things are messy here. Number of kills and only Vortex remaining, but low health bars. Some damaged up players is winnable. He can use the reload from his right. Can he find the player to his left? He gets a tap. We'll see if they peek. One enemy he remaining. Gets one. And that's just going to be tough. Allegiant's going to have to re peek, but you're just playing a game of chicken at that point. Make their fear your weapon. And Allegiance knows exactly where to stand. <laughs> Pixel perfect almost. I should play some Astral Stars in this reality. That'll work. Well, that's a, that's a round, again, you know, we've, we've talked about it a lot. Camden County not really expected to win it. It's gravy if you do. But now, with, with better weapons in hand, this is the one that, it, that really matters. Will tell us a lot about this second half. As we come in here for a I landing, where are my Mark Zumoff fans in chat? Face your fear! He was quickly on the site using plenty of YouTube. Bus trying not to get caught out, and he's able to stay on site alive with his camera still intact. Do they know about Griff, though? I would not expect Griff to be here. Wow, he will get spotted out. Does he get away with his life? Does. And it looks like we're slowly pushing through mid. Twid taking out Yuno. Know. Boss able to get Griff, and it looks like they may still be going for an A push. Oh, and now Flame with this judge could be huge here. He hasn't played here all game. It could be big. Finds two, looks for more, finds almost One a third, remaining. but it will be Demon backing his teammate up. Seven to nine, the Cougars open up a two round lead here in the late goings. Again, they do have that timeout still remaining. All right, so timeout being used by, uh, and actually I'm, I'm not really 100% familiar on how many timeouts are, are have, <laughs> I was under the impression it may have just been the one, but it might be one per half, which honestly I prefer. I, I hope that that's what Nace does. But regardless, they are into a timeout, so we'll take a step back here. 
Uh, Cougars with with an er, uh, with a late game lead. It's not insurmountable. It's only two rounds, but that's what we saw in map two. How can the Cougars close it down here? I think uh, going back to map two, they knew what they did wrong, what they needed to improve on, and it seems like they're really pushing to show that in this map. Um, a lot of late uh, kills that are really much needed, and they're just getting the job done when they need it done. Yeah, I mean, uh, so, I mean, I, I agree with you. I think that the Cougars, uh, being in this position after losing map two, have got to be feeling pretty good. And I think they may, let's see if they have learned, as you've said, from map two heading here in these late games. Draw through them. And another mid push from the Rams. Vortex may have spotted them out. A lot of util coming in on unit. Hey. He throws a bait, can it connect? He does on Allegiance, who oh, was the one that took out Yuno. On the hot cage trigger. Boss is able to get his ult down. Here comes the plant and a flash onto Boss. Spike planted. Cougars are waiting for their opportunity to push. Vortex with a My big kill on Griff. Forever. And that's done! I think found at least one! Flame getting excited! Shooting into the air, that'll be tenth, the tenth round on the side of Camden County. And that was with not full money. I mean, that was a sheriff in the hands of Vortex. There was a marshal, I think, on the field. Right so if we take a look at the money, there is gigantic bank here now built up for the Cougars. Um, scraping the bottom of the barrel or NCU, they might, if, not, if they don't win this round here, they might have to save to give up what would be map and match point. Uh, uh, so we'll see. And it did look like Demon hadn't bought armors. Where are you? Yep. They have forgot to buy some armors, so that is going to take some damage onto him. No, you're right. I think with that kind of money, that has to be an oversight. Another mid push. You know, stunned, but he's able to get his nade off. He gets the kill on Griff. Bomb buddy out. He gets his ult. He gets a Legions who also took him out. That may be the first Razel that we saw hit this entire match. No, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think for both sides, honestly, I've seen a lot of them go wide. 4v3. Bus watching on his camera, he gets Cut. the call on two of them. I must wait a moment. He gets the flash. He's way able to get the kill on Bus. Now they have Vortex's ult on the Astra available. They know where Twit is. Vortex definitely knowing about it. And it's gonna be Flame that's gonna use his ultimate. He's gonna press the go button. And now just Twit with no HP left remaining. See if they hear him stomping around. He elects to run away and save. Well, as we talked about, their economy in absolute shambles. So Twid knows at least get this Vandal out because you're going to be on a very, very budget buy here. Simple as that. So Twid actually will, by doing that, will be able to buy for a teammate to ensure Vandals piece, across the I board. The but now the Cougars have opened up a four round advantage, knocking on the door one more and they will be on both map and match point. Keep up. It looks like this time around we have a split right push from the Rams, sending three onto we A and to two to mid. Looks like they may converge. So Flash is going out. And they do in fact converge into mid. We'll see if Yuna is able to get anyone in with that boom bot. He's gonna know all about it. Gonna commit some more utility to try and find some damage. Smoke goes down and he's able to get away. And then Astro Smoke goes up. Will NCU just decide to blast, uh, you know, off here in mid? Some flash being right. used. Not looking the right way, but Griff has the kill. 
flame able to get spike a down, kill mid. on the flank. He's got the spike down, knows where they are. That's Gets a break. second. Flash out. Clearing out. One enemy Not remaining. Down. And Demon able to finish it off That's for the done. Cougars. Quick break. What a round from Candid County College. Match Flame point. just proving that his defense in mid is just too much to handle. 7 to 12, and now it will have to be the NCU with five rounds straight just to get us to overtime. The Cougars feeling it now. And it's gonna be that budget buy for sure now for NCU. Not full armor, full rifles across the board. Off your feet! Big ult to start the round. That is a gigantic ult. They will get the kill on Yuno, which is pretty big. Flame able to catch one. Knowing he's coming from the elbow. Spike planted. Demon able to do a lot of damage over there to the woman. Twig with another kill on the bus this time. Rip gets flame up against Demon. I consume it. Vortex is stuck in a 1v5 now. He gets Twig. See if he can get a second here. He's able to get another kill onto Allegiance. He gets flash, but he's able to sit through it. 11 bullets with three people left. We'll see if he gets the reload. Come now, come gets on. Tap, and Griff takes out Vortex. So, the, of course, the Cougars do have a number of rounds to play with. Um, Anyone have any but I may have a lot of fingers. ultimates committed there, and the they were going for the win. You could definitely sense that they had three ultimates. It was the Seekers, um, it was the, the Astra ultimate. And it also, I believe, was the Breach Ultimate that we saw there as well. No, it was not the Breach Ultimate, but a number of Ultimates, certainly Astra uh, being used and the Seekers. So a big commitment for a round that didn't seem like it had a chance. Um, um, so we'll see how the Cougars decide to play this one. Demon gets pushed with a Razor. And somehow escapes. Probably able to get the kill on Demon after taking a ton of damage from the Rays. I know exactly where you are. Twig's able to get his ult down, giving the Rams plenty of intel on the creatures. They're gonna expect Yuno on the flank. In fact, he's gonna get flashed. Anything he can get here would be huge! And wait a minute, it's gonna be Bus and Flame! From an Overwatch position, suddenly it's a three versus two. Scatter. We have a big ult onto A site. The Cougars going towards B. And they realize Spike it quickly planted. that it is in fact A. Three v two though, so the Cougars with some utility left in hand just need to play together. He's able to get the stun on the boss. He gets the kill. Boss got shot from from behind. He's getting called out. So we just need to hold it to the Cougars. Not your day, is it? Defenders win. Time to go home. Scrape these bugs off my boots. What a win! For the Cougars. Now listen, Shane, they made us wait for it, but it was worth the wait, I think. Wow, what a what a bounce back there. And it was just a game, a whole match of back and forth. So map one going the way of Camden County, map two going the way of NCU, map three. Who knew? Who absolutely knew? I mean, and there was were some there were some rounds there that looked like the Rams had the Cougars number, but suddenly big plays from big players changes the narrative. So, um, what, what are you entertained? Now, this is your first cast. They showed out for you. What did you think? I think it was a great outing from both teams. It was definitely entertaining to watch. Um, great play from the Cougars, being able to pull it out and take over the, uh, the lead almost uh, in 5-1 now. 
Yeah, I mean, listen, we would have to see, we'd have to check on the standings to see what else happened. It was, I think, a four-way tie for first, but they certainly have a share of the lead still, if not, if they don't have it outright. And at five and one, now listen, I certainly don't want to put some, again, some bad juju out there, but I'm, I'm fairly certain, and I wish we had a statistician that we could point to that could tell us right away, but I think that clinches a playoff berth at five and one. I think five and two absolutely gets you there. Um, so even if they were to drop next week, they should be in the playoffs, but they certainly want to win next week because now it's about seeding. You want to try and get that, um, you want to get that easier playoff uh, game to see if you can make a deep run. So we'll, uh, I, I hope to see that. Um, are we going to hear you next week? Uh, for I, I will be back here next week for the same game. Absolutely. Fantastic. I love that we're doing that because that means that the casters like yourself start to... You know, the more you watch, the more you see these players play, you'll start to understand a little bit about, oh, yeah, that's what we're seeing here. And I, I absolutely loved, I loved to see more of that. So, everybody, again, this is Camden County College Cougar Esports. My name is Sean DeWire. With me is Shane Costello. And uh, Shane will be here uh, next week. So make sure to tune in if you like what you heard. And by the way, if you like what you heard, and even if you're just here passing by, Make sure to give us a follow. It helps everybody. It helps the program. It helps individuals like Shane. So reward him and his hard work. Reward these players, um, both from Camden County and from NCU, um, uh, for you know for, for putting on a really really great show with a follow bottom right of your screen. And um, I just want to note as well, if you're a student and you're not yet involved in the program, what are you waiting for? We want you to play. We want you to cast. Let's make it happen. So um, that's all I have. So Shane, any uh, any last words or um, anyone that you want to, might be want to shout out that might be watching anything at all? I'm just excited to see how it goes next week. All right, fantastic. So everybody, this is Camden County College uh, Cougar Esports signing off. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you. Uh, the stream will be on tomorrow, tomorrow night, but we will see Shane next week.